Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here the top stories we are tracking to you on Thursday, the 17th of October. India slams Canada's Trudeau after he admits Ottawa gave only intelligence, not evidence in Nidja's case. Imran Khan's party announces nationwide protest against proposed constitutional amendment. And Taliban opens probe for alleged killings of Afghans in Iran, Tehran denies claim. India on Thursday slammed Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau after he admitted that his government had not provided hard evidence to New Delhi when it accused the Indian government of being linked to the killing of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nidjar. While testifying before Canada's foreign interference inquiry, Trudeau said that India had been insisting on evidence regarding the allegations Canada made about the killing of Nidjar. But his government had only provided intelligence, not hard evidentiary proof. At that point, it was primarily intelligence, not hard evidentiary proof, he said in his testimony. Reacting to the Canadian Prime Minister's statement, India issued a sharply worded response saying Trudeau's testimony confirmed New Delhi's stance that Canada had not provided any concrete evidence to support its accusations against Indian diplomats. The responsibility for the damage this cavalier behaviour has caused to India-Canada's relation lies solely with Prime Minister Trudeau, the statement added. Relations between the two countries have been largely lukewarm for over a year after Trudeau alleged India's involvement in Nidja's killing. The situation worsened earlier this week when Canada labelled India's High Commissioner and other diplomats as persons of interest in the investigation of Nidja's death. In response, India withdrew its envoy and other diplomats from Ottawa and expelled six Canadian diplomats, including the acting High Commissioner Stewart Wheeler, downgrading the diplomatic mission to secretary level. Since September of 2023, uh, the Canadian government has not shared any shred of information with us. Yesterday, again, after the public inquiry, public uh, hearing, we had again issued a statement saying that Canada has leveled serious allegations but has so far not given any, any evidence to back it up. The PM Trudeau's own admission yesterday would indicate the value. As regards our stance on the allegations, we will naturally reject false imputations against our diplomats. Pakistan's former Prime Minister and PTI party chief Imran Khan on Wednesday announced a nationwide protest on Friday against the 26th constitutional amendment and party founder Imran Khan's incarceration. This comes as a consensus had reached between the Pakistan's ruling PMLN party, Zamate Ulema Islam Fazl, led by Molana Fazlu Rahman, and Pakistan's People Party, led by Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, on judicial reforms concerning the 26th constitutional amendment. Rehman stated that all three parties have reached an agreement on judicial reforms, but other issues are still under negotiation. PTI party in a statement said it would make all-out efforts to block the passage of proposed constitutional amendments in both houses of parliament. The party suggested that the constitutional bench should comprise five seniors most judges of the top court. As Pakistan promises the IMF bull tax reforms to stabilize its economy, the common man continues to bear the brunt of crippling inflation. With prices of essential goods like vegetables soaring out of reach, citizens are struggling to make ends meet. A report. Pakistan's government has committed to broadening its tax base as part of an agreement with the International Monetary Fund. As per media reports, over the next three years, Pakistan has assured the IMF to increase the tax to GDP ratio to 13.7% and aims to simplify tax policies, remove exemptions and ensure fair taxation across sectors. But while the government works on aims to implement ambitious reforms, citizens are feeling the squeeze under the skyrocketing inflation. In Karachi, Citizens like Rashid are finding it hard to manage the surging cost of vegetables and basic necessities, leaving the poor even more vulnerable. 
बस यार ये है कि गरीब को जो है बिल्कुल समझो कि निचोड़ के रख दिया है उसे गरीब न, न मजदूरी मिल रही कुछ नहीं मिल रहा है उसे गरीब तो गरीब हो गया है ये इतने ालम हुक्मरान हैं कि इनकी अपना खर्चा जो है वो पूरी नहीं होती है हुक्मरान हमारे जो है इसी में पड़े हैं बंगलों में हैं अपने मज़े कर रहे हैं और हम लोग जो है धक्के खा रहे हैं पेट भर के हमें रोटी नहीं मिलती है बड़ी मुश्किल का सामना है बिजली के बिल इतने महंगे आ रहे हैं सुई गैस का बिल इतना महंगा आता है कि हम अपने घर का सामान बेच बिजली के बिल अदा कर रहे हैं सुई गैस के बिल अदा कर रहे हैं ये कैसी हुकूमत है ये कैसा इनकलाब आया है कि गरीब आदमी को फांसी लग रही है वाइल पाकिस्तान टैक्स रिफॉर्म्स में हेल्प इट टू सिक्योर आई एम एफ सपोर्ट द कॉमन मैन फेसेस इंक्रीजिंग हार्डशिप विद इन्फ्लेशन शोइंग नो साइंस ऑफ ईजिंग गवर्नमेंट इंटरवेंशन इन मार्केट प्राइजेस इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट दैन एवर Taliban on Wednesday informed that they are looking into allegations that dozens of Afghan civilians were killed and injured by Iranian border forces while trying to enter that country from Pakistan illegally. Taliban's deputy spokesperson Hamdullah Fitrat said that various governmental bodies and Afghan diplomatic missions have initiated comprehensive investigations to verify the reported casualties. The Taliban probe was announced after an Iranian rights group known as Halwash initially reported the alleged Afghan casualties saying they occurred Sunday in Iran's Sistan Balochistan border province. However, Iran has rejected the claims. Both Iran and Pakistan host millions of undocumented Afghan refugees. Both of them deported thousands of Afghan back to their homelands after Taliban seized power in Kabul 3 years back. Bangladesh Information Advisor Nahid Islam on Wednesday stated that the interim government led by Muhammad Yunus does not recognize Sheikh Mujibur Rahman as the founding father of the nation. Addressing reporters, Islam claimed that Bang Bandhu had been made controversial by Sheikh Hasina's Awami League government. Awami League remained in power through fascist tactics, snatching people's voting rights, abductions, murders and even genocide. So who called him the father of the nation and which day they declared as national day? None of that will continue in the new Bangladesh. He was quoted as saying by UNB. Islam, a key figure in the protest that led to Hasina's ouster, further remarked that many individuals contributed to the country's history and its freedom was achieved through their collective struggles. Nahid's comments came hours after the interim government announced the cancellation of eight national holidays including two dedicated to Sheikh Mujibur Rahman popularly known as Bang Bandhu Mujib is a central figure in Bangladesh's history having led the country's independence movement from Pakistan however he was assassinated along with his family members by rogue army officers within 4 years of country's independence Former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her sister Sheikh Rehana survived as both were abroad during the assassination. And under PM Modi's guidance, Gujarat has thrived in agriculture and allied sectors largely due to improved irrigation and innovative farming practices. At the heart of this transformation lies the Sujlam Suflam Yojana, a visionary initiative launched by the Prime Minister in 2003 during his tenure as Chief Minister. Take a look. Gujarat has thrived in agriculture and allied sectors largely due to improved irrigation and innovative farming practices. At the heart of this transformation lies the Sujlam Suflam Yojana. a visionary initiative launched by Narendra Modi in 2003 during his tenure as chief minister this groundbreaking scheme was designed to combat water scarcity and revolutionize water management across the state regions once plagued by drought such as north gujarat saurashtra kutch and central gujarat have experienced a remarkable turnaround The Sujalam Suflam Yojana has not only rejuvenated agriculture but also fortified communities uniting the people of Gujarat in a shared commitment to prosperity and resilience. Sujalam Suflam Yojana ane mare uttar Gujarat na kheduto no varamvar aabhar maru jo ka mane ek dhada ke emne Sujalam Suflam mate zameen aapi thi lagbhag 500 km canal एक कोट कचेरी ना थी जमीन लोग आपी काची केनाल बनी गई 
અને પાણી નીચે ઉતરવા માંડ્યા અને પાણીના તર ઉપર આવવા માંડ્યા The Sujalam Sufilam Yojana aims to rejuvenate rivers, construct check dams and promote water conservation in Gujarat. This initiative seeks to enhance the state's resilience to water shortages, boost agricultural productivity and transform semi-arid regions into productive agricultural zones. In the village of Malgar Mamanagar In the Banas Kantha district farmers like Kalpesh Kumar Solanki who owns 30 acres of land have seen significant benefits previously struggling with declining water levels Kalpesh now irrigates his fields using water delivered via PVC pipelines from the scheme this has increased his crop yields of peanuts potatoes and other vegetables allowing him to grow more and earn higher profits Additionally clean water now reaches his home meeting his household needs. पहले हमारे यहां बहुत सूखा था पानी की बहुत समस्या थी भूगर्भ का तल बहुत नीचा चला गया था इसलिए खेती हम नहीं कर सकते थे उसके बाद में नरेंद्र मोदी जी साहब ने सुजलम सुपलम योजना शुरू की उसका पानी तालाब में डाला वहां से हमने पीवीसी पाइप द्वारा हमारे खेत में पानी लाया और वहां खेत से स्प्रिंकलर चालू करके वहां खेती उपज करने का चालू किया हम सर्दियों में आलू बोते हैं गर्मियों में वो खरबूजा बोलते हैं वो बोते हैं और बारिश के टाइम पे मूंगफली बोते हैं उसकी फसल में हमको बहुत अच्छी आमदनी हुई बहुत बदलाव ला दिया पहले ये इधर पशुपालन है खेती है कुछ नहीं पूर्व बुजड़ था ये रिकॉर्ड भी बता रहा है अभी तो ये मोदी सरकार और सब आए तो वो सब खुश हो गए खूब धन्यवाद बोलते सब किसान धन्यवाद बोलते मोदी जी का The Sujalam Sufilam Yojana in Gujarat has been recognized by the World Bank for its focus on drought proofing through groundwater recharge. Key components include pumping water to fill reservoirs, spreading canals, and constructing farm ponds. The World Bank praised the state for increased groundwater levels, revived dug wells, expanded irrigation, and reduced energy use in water deficit regions. Experts have praised the Sujalam Sufilam Yojana for transforming Gujarat and establishing it as a role model for other states in India. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.